Welcome back. Joining me is Danielle with East Lubbock Art House. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yes, thank you for letting me be here. Absolutely. So you have a pretty cool event coming up that involves mural projects. Tell us about it. Yeah, so we're doing um, our ELA mural project. So it's kind of a continuation of a mural project that we did um, in September of 2020 when we first opened up. Um, so we have 10 uh, 12 to 19 year olds um, that will be individually doing their own mural on these mobile walls that are four feet by six feet um, in size. So it's going to be a really cool event for us to do. So it picks off actually tomorrow. So. That's going to be exciting. So they're going to be doing these mural projects that kind of, I guess, express their identity and their, you know, purpose through these arts. Um, there's 10 students. Is that correct? Yeah. So some of them have recently graduated and some um, are just entering middle school, some are in middle school and some are in high school. And why do you think this project is so important? Um, it's just, it's really important because all the students and um, recent graduates that just applied to be a part of it have, none of them have created a mural, have worked on a mural, um, and none of them know each other. So it's going to be really cool um, to have all of them kind of come together, um, meet each other, network, um, and also just learn about being a leader, being an artist. Um, and just being a community member that gives back to the community. That sounds great. So it's a mural project with a, a great purpose and meaning behind it as well. So when is the recognition going to take place? Um, so it will happen August 14th, so that'll be Sunday. Um, so we'll do a recognition for all 10 of them. Um, we'll also have refreshments, snacks, um, and everyone can come and see their murals. So we're inviting um, their teachers, um, family and friends, and just anyone in the community that wants to come and see the work that they did. Because, I mean, I don't even know what they're going to create, so it'll be a really nice experience to see everything that goes on. Yeah, that's going to be so great. And then you talked about what they're going to create. I know we kind of touched on it a minute ago, but they're going to be able to really express themselves through these murals. So how important do you think that's going to be? It's going to be really good. I think um, a lot of them, they're really artistic. We looked at um, all of their submissions, and they were really great. It's better than I was when I was 12, year old, <laughs> 12 years old making art. Um, and so all of them have a really different and unique style. Um, so we really just want to hone in on their styles. We want them to also create the murals themselves. We've had people reach out about coming and helping them. But the thing is, we want to build leaders and we want to build their artistic experience. So then once they leave Sunday, they'll be able to create a mural themselves and, you know, be able to show someone else how to do it. And so we don't want to just, you know, um, assist them too much and do the work for them we want them to be able to do it so even if they don't fully finish by sunday we want them to see like what it takes to make a mural and what it takes to be an artist that's amazing i love that and then you talked about help so what are ways that the community can also help and donate to your organization um so they can donate through our website um we have all the information on there they can also stop by and um, they can check out the murals so that's their people are working on them and they can also donate um, snacks and refreshments and we want to provide lunch for the uh, participants each day so um, if people want to drop off lunch for us that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well thanks so much Danielle this sounds like it's going to be a great event. Thank you. Don't go anywhere we'll be back after the break.